What is going on everybody? It's Alex back with another video. So we are playing Forza Horizon 3. Today we are making another budget build. So if I'm correct, I believe my budget on this one is 150,000. So we're going to go to value, sorted by value, and yes, so 150,000. So I know we have a lot of new people who haven't seen any of the budget build videos, so I'm going to refresh you guys. Essentially what this series is, is I need to buy a car within a value range. So for example, today we're going to be doing the 150,000 credits plus category. So basically I buy a car within that range, and then based on the price of the car, um, that uh, determines how much uh, money I can put into modification. So for example, if I were to buy this Ultima GTR right here, it's only 150,000 and I can upgrade it all the way to 250,000 if I choose. So this would give me a lot of room to work with. However, if I chose a car that was say 240,000 credits, I would only have 10,000 credits to work with. So it kind of, that really determines exactly what I do with a car. So for example, I would probably choose a cheaper car and then modify it a lot because that's what I like. So let's hop right into it. Um, so starting off with the Ultima GTR, not exactly, you know, it's an incredible track toy, insanely fast, but it's not really my style, so I'm probably not going to be doing that one now. Okay, the Nissan Fair Lady Z. So I believe, if I'm correct, there is a wide body kit on this, and this car slammed wide body everything is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite cars, so this is definitely in the running right here. So we're going to keep on moving. Not a huge fan of the Mercedes, I'm just going to move right past that. Same thing with the Stingray, it's a beautiful car, but I'm not really feeling it. The Honda NSX. Okay, so if you guys don't know, in terms of tuners and JDM cars and everything, the NSX is one of my favorite cars, period, because I love the modification you can do to it. All of them. Like, how many NSXs do you actually see? Not too many, but of the percentage that you actually see, most of them have some modifications done to it. I love the soul of the NSX. So, this is definitely in the running too. So right now, we have two JDM cars, of course. Alright, so moving right along, I'm not really feeling any of the Corvettes, or the Lambo, or the Ferrari, or the Jag, or the Maserati. Okay, so the AMG GTS. This is actually, I, I really, really like this car. It's one of the cars that I wouldn't want to really do anything with, and that's part of the reason it kind of turns me off just a little bit, but based on like just stock because this is a car I feel like you don't need to modify this is like a complete car I f it's one of my favorites the GTS and the GTR are beautiful cars in my eyes um, but because you can't modify it too much this is not something I would choose for this series um, same thing with the CUDA now the BAC Mono I actually this is by far my favorite track toy I think the lines on this car are just insane it's like an F1 car however again I want something that we can really modify and make it unique, and you can really only do a paid job on this. So I'm going to keep moving on this one. The Acura NSX, the new NSX, I'm not a fan of it, guys. I love the old one, but the new one just doesn't do it for me. Lamborghini Diablo, I'm not really feeling it. Dunkervort, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're going to go with that. The D8 GTO, it's ugly. It's really ugly. I'm not feeling it. The Audi Sport Quattro, although it's an insane rally car. Again, it's ugly. I don't. I really do not like the lines on that car. So we're gonna keep moving. The Ferrari F355 Berlinetta. This is one, probably my favorite Ferrari. Period. Um, now I like like the 458 better, just because what I would do with it, modifications and stuff. You know, I love wide body and stuff like that. But if I had to just drive a stock Ferrari, this would be it. There's something about it that just it's so beautiful. But you can't really modify a lot so I'm not gonna do it but again the F355 one of my favorite cars period never been a fan of Jaguars I'm not a huge fan of that or this so there we go so the RA V10 so one thing I'm super upset about this game is they don't have a wide body kit on the R8 I've seen quite a few wide body kit R8s in real life and they are just so beautiful, it's so insane. But they don't have a wide body kit on the Huracan, and they don't have a wide body kit on the R8. I'm really confused about that. I don't know why they don't do that. Kind of bothers me a little bit. Either way, because of that, I won't be building this one. We got the Peugeot. Why is that worth so much? Jesus. Okay, not going to be doing that. The SLS is too big, too long. It's just, I'm not feeling it. Ferrari 360, it's a dope car, but I'm not feeling it. 
AMG GTR, okay? So we were talking about the GTS a little bit earlier, and this is kind of the same thing. I like this one a little bit more just because it's a little more aggressive. However, again, it's a complete car. There's nothing I would really want to do with it. Therefore, I will not be building this one. Now, the Balor, this is one of the most insane off-road cars, but it's ugly. It's like a weird, chopped-up Range Rover, and I'm really not feeling it. So, we're going to keep moving right along. The Dodge Challenger RT. No, I'm not. I've never been a huge American muscle guy. I've always been more of a Japanese type guy. So we're gonna stay away from that. There's nothing you can really do to the SL65, so I'm gonna get away from that. Same thing with the Countach. The McLaren is beautiful, but no. Oh, okay. The 458 Italia. I didn't realize that would be in here. So that would. So twenty-five thousand dollars to play with. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to have to check prices. I want to see what I can do with $25,000, but I may end up doing this just because the Liberty Walk wide body Ferrari 458 is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite cars, period, and this is definitely a contender. I think we are between the Honda NSX and this one right now. Oof, I, this one's going to be hard. Okay, Mustang Boss 302, again, not an American muscle guy. Now, what I was talking about a little bit earlier, why do they not have a wide body kit on the Huracan? That would be an easy pick for me, although it's only $10,000 uh, of upgrade, so I don't know if I'd actually be able to do that, but I would love that car so much. Aston Martin V12 Vantage S, although it is my favorite Aston Martin to date, I would not do it. Um, California T, not feeling it, the brand new R8. Insane, insane car, but we're getting really expensive now, and I only have $8,000 to upgrade it, so I'm not really seeing that, and there it is. So, that brings us to a Liberty Walk 458, which is what I'm going to do with it, so that'll give me $25,000 to upgrade, so that is definitely a possibility, and then all the way back here, we have the Honda NSX for $150,000, which would give us a hundred grand to mess with. So I'm going to do some thinking, and I'll get back to you guys and let you know what decision I've made. Alright guys, so this has been an emotional joyride, so let me tell you what just happened. First, I thought long and hard. I made my decision. I decided, Honda NSX, this is what I want to do, okay? So originally, I decided that because I figured the Ferrari was cutting it a little bit too close, and I wouldn't be able to do everything I wanted to do in terms of money. So I'm like, okay. We'll do the Honda, I'll be able to do everything plus some. So I buy the Honda, and then quickly realize that this is the newer NSX, not the older one. So if you guys don't know, there's two NSXs in the game. One of them, the older one, you can put the wide body kit on. The newer one, there is no wide body kit. So considering the wide body is the whole reason I bought the Honda, I'm like, okay, whatever. We'll go with the other decision. So, I went and bought the Ferrari 458. I knew I wouldn't have much of a budget to work with, but I figured, hey, I'd be able to get the wide body kit and maybe like an exhaust system on it and we'll call it a day. That is when I actually bought the 458 and went into the upgrade shop and realized that I had 25,000 credits to work with and the wide body kit alone cost 27,000. So I can't do the Honda and I also can't do the Ferrari. So my first two picks are out of the drain, therefore we're here this is the Nissan Fair Lady Z 432 now I did check I did a little bit of research before I bought the car and this actually is the wide body version so we're gonna be building a wide body Nissan Fair Lady alright guys so over half a million credits later and we finally have a car we can work with so I'm excited about this one we're gonna go into the upgrade shop now let's see how this works with the body kit so I'm not actually sure so it's a rocket bunny kit so there we have, so this is the Forza Horizon 3 wide body kit, you have a little bit of over flares, it's nothing too crazy, but already, I actually really like this car. Now, the Rocket Bunny kit, that is where it's at. So there we go, $4,500, so much more affordable than the Ferrari. So that's where we're going to go. Now, what I want to do is I want beefy wheels, and I want to slam this thing to the ground. So right now it's D-Class, we need all the power we can get. So. Would I turbo this? Of course I would turbo this, but I am going to be keeping the same engine and I'm going to be keeping a rear wheel drive. So what, I'm just curious, what engine swaps are they? So we got the 1.6 liter inline four, 
3.2, uh, so all these are end lines. Twin, uh, okay, no, we're, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. The single turbo will be just fine. We're gonna upgrade the turbo all the way. It's gonna be insane. So let's see what we got. Can we get like a... Yes. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this, $180. Beautiful, beautiful. See, this is so much more affordable. This is great. So, tire compound. I'm not gonna be bringing this off-road. We are gonna be going, I'm just gonna go with the standard race tire compound. Um, and on a car like this, you have to have your wheels unreasonably wide. I love that style where they're just insane ground patches you have. So, we need some rims. Uh. Let's go, maybe multi-piece. I wanna have some like, I feel like the spokes, okay, that's actually really cool. So that, something like that, maybe even that. I don't want small spokes on it. It needs to be like thick. Ooh, that looks really good, the Haman rims. HREs are a little bit too small. Let's see, those look pretty good. See, I feel like this is like such a unique, ooh, that looks pretty good. That may be what we're going with. That looks pretty good. We may be going with these HREs. Uh, which ones were they? Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna throw these on and we're gonna paint them, don't worry, the color's not right. But that's what we're looking at so far and personally, I think those are beautiful. So we're gonna slap those on there make them just a little bit bigger just because I, I want like really low profile tires I want the look of low profile tires so we're gonna I don't know yeah I think we're gonna go there and then we'll go the same on the back that just looks insane okay we are off to a great start so this was hundred and fifty thousand credits so I have a hundred thousand credits to work with. I haven't been looking at my budget, but let's be honest, I doubt I'm gonna be able to put a hundred K on this. So we got our clutch all up and ready. Race clutch, obviously. I'm gonna max this thing out. If I have the budget, why would I not? Obviously we want a transmission with all the power that we're gonna be putting down. Same thing with the drive line, and finally the differential, clearly. So then we have platforms. So this is gonna be a lot. Obviously I want really nice brakes. Not necessarily that, this is a showboat car guys, I'm not necessarily going to be using this on a track or anything, this is all just because why not? You know, you have a car like this, you have an insane budget, this is a show car. This is just a showboat, really there's no reason I'm going to be having this power, I'm not going to be racing it or anything, but it's going to be one of those things where it looks insane, you bring it up to a car show, you pop the hood and it's just beautiful and there's insane work done to it. That's the kind of car I'm going for right here. So we're going to have it on race springs, so it's already really low, and we're going to drop it even lower. And I may actually want to make the rims a little bit bigger. They're still looking a little bit small. I may go back and make them a little bit bigger. Um, sure, why not? We'll throw the anti-roll bars on here. Um, yeah, we have to have a roll cage. Just to make it look that much more badass, we'll have a roll cage and completely strip the interior. We have to make this look insane. So I am going to go back and upgrade the tire size just to make them look they, they were looking a little bit small how's that looking that see now they look pretty big um we need like an in-between we'll, we'll go big why not so that's already the base we can get so that looks good we'll keep that platform and handling i already did that and now the engines. Let's make this thing powerful. So, oh, we actually don't have that much to work with. So I'm gonna do the necessities first. Um, obviously the race turbo. Um, pistons and compression, we want everything upgraded here. I think we're, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I think we're gonna have plenty of money to work with. So I'm gonna upgrade everything and then I'll take things off if we don't need it. So obviously that's a big thing right there. The cooling and everything, a flywheel is very important. But we're only up to 61, so we should be good. Intake, you definitely want to upgrade your intake with something like this. The carburetor, we're going to slap that one on. Ignition is a big thing. Race ignition. Ooh, we are up to S1 on this car. Exhaust. Clearly, I want an exhaust, and I'm going to go all the way up on the exhaust for, obviously, because I want it to be super loud. Camshaft. We still have plenty of money. 
we are doing great. Okay, so displacement, I believe I already upgraded. I believe I've already done everything here. So we have fully upgraded the car, and we still have over $25,000 to spare. So now, we're going to head over to the paint shop and make this thing look really nice. Alright guys, so we are in the paint shop, and I have an idea of what I want to do with this car. I'm looking... So I want to tell you guys first, I'm looking for something like a very, like a deep blue, kind of like dark but bright at the same time. Hopefully I can find it and that'll make a little bit more sense to you guys. But um, we're going to, let's see, we're going to head over to special colors. Maybe, what do I want to do? I'm trying to think of something that will actually work pretty well. Pearlescent, okay, so obviously pearlescent white isn't going to work. Um... Trying to see if some okay so yeah so all all these things over here are not gonna help me so we may have to find like a maybe a we'll do like a metal flake maybe or like a two tone polish and do it like the same color maybe get like an insane blue look that's a little too purple something honestly kind of like that with like a little less purple. So there's that, and then the highlight is, we're gonna try, oh wow, wow, okay. Mm, maybe a little, actually no, that looks absolutely insane. We are gonna stick with that. Beautiful, and then I'm gonna go carbon on the hood. Obviously you have to have a carbon fiber hood on a car like this. Call it ricey, whatever you want, man. That just looks absolutely insane. So we're going to throw that on there. There's no... Oh, wow, the door mirrors are weird. We're going to make that carbon too, just to make it pop just a little bit. These have to be... You know, I'm just going to make these black. I'm not even going to... Oh, that looks so good. Okay, and then we're going to tint the windows. All right. I believe this is the final addition to the car. Oh. That's not true. I have to do a little bit of tuning. I'm not going to mess with too much, but I am going to drop it low. And I'm also going to mess a little bit with the camber and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be messing with it too much. All right, starting the tuning. So I'm not going to mess with the tire pressure at all. The gearing is just to make it a little bit more reasonable. We're going to bump the final drive up. It's not exactly fast, but that's okay. So we're going to add a little bit of negative camber just to make it look that good. And I know a lot of people, they like to add more camber on the back. I just think that looks so stupid. Like, keep the camber even. I don't know. That just seems weird to me. Springs, okay. We are dropping it all the way down, which actually we are pretty low. And we'll pretty much keep it there. So now, let's check out my new car. piece of art this thing is absolutely insane and even with the insane tires this thing is drift ready there is insane amount of oversteer and as far as I can tell it's pretty controllable um, so there is a couple things I want to test out on this car I want to test out top speed no I don't think it's gonna be very fast but I mean why not it's good to know all right guys so we're at the starting line be prepared for the most intense drag race you've ever seen that is a complete lie but either way we're gonna go Let's go. I'm expecting, I think it said the gearing was up to like 188. I don't even know if it's going to hit that. I'm thinking like 160 or so. It's still pulling pretty hard over 100. I'm not, I think it only has six gears and we are also on the wrong side. Okay, we're slowing down definitely around here. So 160? 165? Come on. Let's get 170. 170. Oh, there we go. I saw. All right, test. Okay, brakes are pretty good even off-road. So there we go. Top speed of 170. 
Again, this build is kind of a Shobo build. There's no actual purpose for all the performance upgrades and everything. That's kind of, that's roughly around where I expected and everything, so that's pretty good. Now, the next thing I want to test off is actually the drifting. I had no intentions of testing this, but I mean, hey, it seems like it drift pretty well, and why not? Alright guys, as you can see, we are here at my favorite drift spot, which is the Hillside Drift Zone. Now, this is my favorite because you can take these corners extremely fast, and you pretty much have to take the first corner fast. Now, this car is not exactly known for speed, so I don't know how this is going to handle it. But let's try it, why not? So here is our first run. I haven't actually tried it out yet. I literally just turned around. But there's not a lot of traction. Even with all of the um, the tire upgrades, there's not a lot of traction. So I'm curious, okay, I say that and then I can't get the back end out. Okay. Okay, not exactly optimized. Not exactly optimized, but as you, I mean, you saw my tune. I wasn't exactly planning on doing a drift build. I wasn't expecting this to be good, but okay. See, it handles the slower stuff a lot better. And I didn't even lose it. There we go. See, I normally lose those things even with actually optimized drift card. Don't hit that. Oh, come on. Either way. So we'll get what? 50? 60? So about 60 grand. I'm not exactly sure. Let me check. What is gold? If we're actually close to gold, I may try and get that just because. 80,000 points. Okay, we're a little bit far away from that, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it actually, it handled drifting pretty well, and I think if you got used to clutching it and everything with that car, you could potentially do well with that. Alright guys, fast forward about 5 seconds, and I realized, you know, if I have a car like this, you know, I'm showboating, I have all this power that I don't plan on using, I'm not nearly mature enough for that. So, I see someone who just challenged me right here. And, you know, I think I'm going to take him up on the challenge. So this is a hard raise. I'm against a Ferrari F50. I mean, come on. I'm in a Nissan. JDM for the win, bro. So I'm going to stick to the roads and actually try to do this as fair as possible. See if I can beat this Italian Stallion. Where is the... What just happened? Okay, well, that's a little embarrassing. I got really confused right there. Okay, lots of oversteer. Um, his car is also about 20 years newer than mine. So we'll see what happens, but I mean, you know, I know I said I was going to be fair, however, screw that, I'm not going to be fair at all, I'm going to cut straight through this because I just spent all this money on a car, but it's a street race, I mean, come on, I need my street cred up, I need to win this race, so very clearly I would take it off road and I just beat a Ferrari. And because of that, he's going to give me about 61 grand, so there we go, that pretty much paid for all my modifications. Alright guys, so I know I've been joking a lot about what I would actually do with this car and everything, but I want to bring this video a little bit more to a serious note. I mean, let's be honest, I just spent all this money on a car like this. It looks like it's about to break at any second. It's extremely old, so I probably wouldn't be racing it. I probably wouldn't be doing off-road. I wouldn't be drag racing. You know, there's a lot of things that I just showed you that I actually wouldn't do. So I think I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I actually would do with this car. So as opposed to driving the speed limit, I would probably bring it to a lot of car shows. You meet a lot of cool people at car shows, and you get to show off your beautiful car that you just built. And what better way of picking up girls than showing off your insane car, right? That's what girls love, right? Man, just pulled up to the car show. I can't wait to pick up some girls. My car is looking so good. All right, any second now, and they will just be flocking around me. Let's see who's around me. 12 seconds later. Hey, bro, nice car. What you got in there? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, what's up, dude? Uh, no, I pretty much completely rebuilt the engine, motors completely reworked, I added a turbo, uh, it's on bags, I have a Rocket Bunny wide body kit, I have all kinds of stuff done to it, it's really cool. Oh, dude, that's insane, I bet you get all the girls by driving around in that car. Uh, yeah, no, I guess, I mean, I actually, I just got it, and this is actually really my first time bringing it out, so, I guess I can't really tell yet, so, I guess we'll find, I hope so, I want to pick up some girls. Alright man, well good luck with that. Jesus, that guy was weird. I, I I really need to just get some attention from girls. Why is it always guys? I'm about to turn my luck around. I guarantee you the next person who talks to me about my car is gonna be a smoking hot girl. 
12 seconds later. Hey bro, you into old school cars too? That thing is insane, dude. We need to meet up sometime. Maybe get some coffee. We can talk about cars. Jesus, why is it only guys that like my car? So, uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be the reality if I actually get a car like this. I would probably be driving at speed limit on the highway, being really careful not to run into anything, and then bringing it to car shows so guys can enjoy my car as much as I do. Yeah, uh, it's a little unfortunate, but either way, I got a dope car. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed all the random stuff I put into this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you in that next one. Peace out, guys.